morning, everyone. Just a few thoughts about uh, some of the crazy that's going on on the internet. Draw Muhammad Day, Ogith, Nuclear Night, Alliance of Demons, this, that, the other thing. And I'd like to point out something to you. If... No, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, look at the computer in front of you. Right, and realize that the software you're using to start up the computer, to do stuff on the computer, to make videos, to watch videos, to browse the web, you own none of it. You have a license to use it, but you have no effective control of it. Your ISP, the thing that connects you to the internet, well, it can terminate your connection at any time for just about any reason. Read your terms of service. It's about as vague as YouTube's. Um, YouTube's website, well, it's already been demonstrated just how uh, how much they're in the driver's seat and we're not. The computer you own, all right? Okay, you own it. Can you repair a motherboard or do you have to rely on someone else to do it? Can you or anyone repair a physically... physically dead hard drive, and by physically dead I mean a physical error on the disk. No. The NSA can recover data from almost anything. Data recovery service will cost you about a thousand bucks, if you're lucky. I mean, for minor, minor errors you can get some stuff back, but even the video videos you made can vanish at any moment. That may be pretty dark, but remember there's one thing that you not only own, it's that you have to be the only one who controls it. It's up here. You may be influenced by what other people do, what other people say, what goes on in your environment. That's just because you rely on sensory data to stay sane. Look up sensory deprivation and look at some of the horror stories. But... Uh, even your body, there are people with intense looks and earpieces and guns and radios and helicopters and police cars that will be happy to tell you what you can't do and just how willing they are to enforce it. And really, a lot of the most enjoyable things in life you need somebody else's consent to do. And do with. Unfortunately, that is not always forthcoming. So what's the point of this? When you're dealing with the troll, with an ideologue who's being insane and crazy, when you're dealing with someone who wants to mess with your head, realize that they are wanting to mess with the one thing that they require your consent to do anything to, to reach it all, to have any even remotely close effect, close to what they're actually trying to do. Think about that. They're just as limited as you are, and they are trying to do something that is manis manifestly more difficult than just getting a message across. And some of them, like Oga, are using bandwidth that they're not even paying for, you know? They're using electricity that, you know, you don't pay for the electricity in your house until after you use it, so technically it's on loan, but they can't take it back. Electricity he's pulling from the McDonald's, he doesn't own it. Who knows where he got the computer? You know, some of us build our own computers, that's what all those in the back of my office are. But uh, they have less than you have because even the YouTube accounts that YouTube loans them, they get knocked down. I mean, the list of accounts he's lost, it's got to be. In. It's reaching low double digits. You know, we're, we're talking 20s, maybe more. Just don't 
worry so much about protecting yourself from people like that and celebrate the fact that you've already protected yourself. You, as a human being, you're already protected from the worst of things if you just pay attention to what's really going on around you. Thank you for your time and attention.